さん !He knows better t h a t Make sure you sound off on the comments and tell me how terrible I'm doing. Hi, everybody! Welcome to Controller Tape! We're playing TOME,、uh, which is an acronym. It stands for Tales of Maj Ayal, I think. I don't know.、Um, but eons ago on the channel, we played、uh, Castle of the Winds, which is a sort of <laughs> ancient turn based RPG. Right. And I'm 100% sure that Tome gets its inspiration from that game. It plays. Well, did. Um. Did. NetHack come before Castle of the Winds? Or was that after? Like the ASCII style game? I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. I've, in fact, I don't think I've ever heard of that. The only ASCII game I know of is Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> yeah, NetHack was basically this.、Um, and in fact,、uh, if you go into the options, under game options, in the graphic mode, you can set it to ASCII. <laughs> if you really want that old school feel. We don't, because that's a goddamn nightmare, and you have to be a freaking savant to play the game like that. Because, like, your character is literally an at symbol. <laughs> <laughs> so, we won't be doing that. But, this game is、uh, roguelike.、Uh, most of the like, dungeons and stuff that you go into are randomly generated. And it's really, really hard. Now, they've kind of eased it up in recent versions. I don't know how long ago they started easing it up. Um, but there are difficulty levels now that are a little more forgiving. You get extra lives and that sort of thing.、Um, I will be playing. Ooh. <laughs> you will be Ooh. playing as、Ooh. Tentacle、oh、Booby Lady. <laughs> oh, my. Ooh. Ooh. oh, that poor occultist to the right was 100% impaled on a tentacle. <laughs> I just wanted to worship the Boob Lady. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Your name shall be. Uh. Shbagooty. <laughs> Shbagooty. <laughs> okay, I'll be a nice lady. And we'll be playing the default campaign. Now, I haven't played this all the way through.、Uh, I've played some of it, but I always died. I want not to die. We'll be playing on normal difficulty, because you get, uh,. Achievos. And we'll do adventure mode permadeath because it gives you some extra lives. You get more extra lives when you level up. Also,、uh, I've thrown in some music that you can hear now from a few other games that are kind of calm and stuff because this game does have a soundtrack, but、uh, it's pretty limited. It's like one song. So,、uh, this feels appropriate. Uh, let's see. I want to be an elf. t h a y l o r What is the difference? s Um, let's see. The Shalor. The Shalor? Shalor? The Shalots. The Shalots. Uh, they get Grace of Eternals, which allows them a boost of speed. And the t h a y l o r They're minus two magic. But they do get、uh, healing, which is good. And I want to be an alchemist. Because it's the only. I mean, I guess I could be a possessor. That sounds, that sounds terrible. This class is very strange and maybe confusing to play. Fuck that. I'll be an alchemist. I hate that symbol. What, this? Yeah. I can't even see it. I see. <laughs> It、looks like、oh, a face. Yeah, I see a face with like two great big gross eyes.、Uh, I would like a female golem, please. You're not a golem, you're an elf. No, you get a golem. 
Like you have a golem companion who follows oh. you. Oh. So I'll have a I'll have a lady golem. Uh, let's see, blonde hair, dark hair. What? No red hair. Yeah, it's kind of kind of lame. Where's you can't the... even see the dark hair. That Is she be... bald? Yeah, that appears to be bald with fuck off <laughs> side hair. Uh, that looks alright. I'll go with that. And skin! <laughs> I like the option where you were banana yellow. I like that. That's cool. Special. Bikini mankini. That's dumb. Alright. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the power of a bikini is too much and you've erupted into flames. <laughs> Alright, uh... Negative four life per level? What? Wait, go to life per level negative one. <laughs> you slowly die? Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Play, let's go. How does that work? We'll never know. Alright, magic. And... <laughs> Throw bomb. Uh, let's get rid of that. I do want bomb. And I want strong golem. So bomb and strong, and buff up my staff. And all right, we're ready to go. Welcome, Shbaguti. You are of the Thalaran, the elven race closest to nature. Your people have lived for thousands of years in their forest, rarely taking part in the events of the outside world. Yet when their home is threatened, the Thalaran elves can prove to be fearsome combatants. You lived a peaceful <laughs> life deep in the forest for many years, but lately you have grown restless and have decided to step into the world. Can be fearsome combatants. Most of the time they just fall on the ground and shit their pants. They're just huge wieners. Uh, you lived a peaceful life deep in the forest for many years, but lately you've grown restless and have decided to step into the world. You've decided to venture into the old and wild places looking for ancient treasures and glory. You've come to the western side of the Thalaran Forest, to the lair of Norgos. Norgos was a steadfast ally of the al alley? Steadfast ally of the Thalaran, protecting the western border. But lately, he's grown corrupt, even attacking the Thalaran. What a douche. Yeah. To the east of Shatur, the Thalaran capital lies a dark part of the woods. Ever since the spell blaze, this area has been corrupted. The woods. Life there has been transformed. <laughs> After day, I got thirsty. Yeah, voice acting is thirsty work. After yeah. days of travel, you found the Nargos lair and entered it. What will you find there? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I'm you, 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 are the map. The, you are the map. There we go. What the fuck is that thing? You're right. That's my goal. <laughs> it looks like Chewy. Uh, okay, first I need to reorganize my stuff here. Okay. Uh, this is... I don't need that to be a shortcut. That's an infusion. Here's my golem. That's fine. Okay. I need to rename my golem. I want to change your name to... You got this. Dump. <laughs> I'm telling you. Looks like Chewy. <laughs> Alright. So, let's see. Snacks! Snacks! So I have a magic wand spell. And you can also throw bombs, I yes. guess. Oh. My range is poor. Where are you going? Come back! Treasure! <laughs> Come back! Dump came down here to fight a thing. Oh, uh, so... Dump do what dump do. I did unlock this, so now all all my characters start with this tra transmogrification chest. So what this does is now, 
Whenever I pick anything up, it goes into my transmogrification chest. And at the end of a level, or pretty much whenever I want, but at the end of the level, everything that's in the transmogrification chest gets transmuted into gold. So there are so apparently there are things that you can unlock through playing the game that like they're like birth treasures or whatever and once you get them all your characters will have them. Interesting. I mean that feels like so like now I don't have to go into town to you know get rid of my junk. There you go. Thank you. Snack. So many snacks. I gotta move closer. Alright. So. I got an agate. Now, what do I have? Quick. Gems. So I can convert gems into alchemist stones. And when they're used as alchemist bombs, uh, they do different things. So, agates. You do an extra 5% damage. Nice. So many snacks. Oop, back up. And a wolf! Aw. Poor wolf. Death to wolf. It's a wolf. <laughs> Wolves are different. This is true. <laughs> that was the angriest snake I've ever heard. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> he went for it. Yeah, the golem kind of does, like, do his own thing sometimes. Hat! <laughs> Alright. Is it a good hat? It doesn't really matter. Is it matter. a cursed hat? I haven't found any cursed items. Oh, that's right, it's my chest. Clarifying linen wizard hat. So this gives me plus one defense, plus two cunning, and plus five to my mental saves. <laughs> now you're a proper... Proper batitted Gandalf. Propyl? Propylene glycol. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. He's got like a ram attack. Yes. <laughs> no! Hey! <laughs> That's great. Noom he go! And we leveled up. So. Can't increase your explosion anymore. Okay. And now you can. But I'm more gonna golem. I'm gonna focus on golem. Make golem strong, and make staff strong. Okay, and I gotta switch to golem, and level, level, level up golem. <sighs> level up golem. More strength. Yes. Make sure you sound off in the comments and tell me how terrible I'm doing. Get a shield. I think my golem is using a two-handed weapon, so shield doesn't do them any good at the moment. <laughs> well, there was a thing there. Thank you, Dump. <laughs> you really uh, did not give them the... Okay, and now for my favorite feature of this game. It was not in Castle of the Winds. The Z button! It's auto explorer. <laughs> uh, spotted, hostile. Ah, there it is. Womp. Ooh, got some more agates. Can you get a second cola? Uh, I don't think so. I would like to uh, convert Alchemist Gems. Auto explore! The fox! Happy Fox Day! I think National Fox Day was yesterday. Ah. Death. Whee! So when I hit the Z button and it takes me like back and forth between exits, I know I have fully explored. I don't right. remember. Do you have to eat in this game? I don't believe so. Also, there's some functionalities that I'm not sure I super understand. Uh, let's see. 
Why? So I can change my staff? My staff's nature? I would like to call on fire. So I think it's a fire staff now? I think that's how that works? Okay. Uh, ooh, a totem. Uh, move that to- actually, wield that. So, I now have a new totem power here. Uh, uh ooh, a pickaxe. I want to keep that so I can dig. Uh, I don't need any of this, so all of that can get converted. So I just got a bunch of gold. <laughs> Please help me! I'm afraid I lost myself in this place. I know there is a recall portal left around here by a friend, but I fought too many battles and I fear I will not make it. Would you help me? Yeah, I got you, fam. Let's go. Ooh. Hold on. This is not a good opportunity for a bomb. Ah. Ah, Hidden snack. All right, now I gotta be careful because, like, this these fuckers alternate between like following me closely and fucking running off on their own and getting killed. Standing around like an asshole. No, they don't stand around. Like, see, he already started moving. Like, he wants to go in a direction, and he will go in that direction. Where'd he go? Okay. Because he will wander off and get his ass killed. Where'd he go? Yellow ooze to the north? Oh! <laughs> no, dump. Don't explode, dump. Dump should be okay. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Can this motherfucker? You see what I mean? Can we go now? Snack to the south. Oh. Snack to the north. Whoa, wolf! Ow. Okay. Nope, see? Just started. Where'd he go? There, he was to the west. Yeah, because he's just making a fucking beeline for this thing. Oh. <laughs> Escort quests. Thank you, my friend. I do not think I would have survived without you. Especially because my legs are cursed. <laughs> just wander in the direction I want to go with no hesitation. Please Great. let me reward you by giving, by giving you a permanent magical blessing. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, this sounds good. Shbaguti. Farewell. And now we yep. can get treasure. Alright, so I just got wild infusion. So this is what, this is one of the things that took me a bit to figure out. So if I use this infusion, okay. Hmm, regeneration. I can... These are my infusions that are currently equipped. Basically, an infusion is like a tattoo mm. that gives you special abilities. So, right now I have Regeneration, Wild, and Mana Surge. So, my Wild one cures me of one random physical effect, reduces all damage taken by 14% for four turns, and removes cross-tier effects, etc. That is... This... this one. Right. So, this is 16% resistance. So this is superior. So we will replace it. And now I've used the rune. Uh -huh. So basically, the infusions are intended to kind of replace, like, potions and stuff, so you don't have to, like, go grind for potions and 
you know, buy stuff. You can just pick up these infusions that improve you and, you know, kind of keep progressing through the game. Pew. Get pewed. Well, there's the exit. And we. I don't like the fact. Ooh, level up. I don't like the fact that you leave a trail of flies when you do <laughs> that. Uh, let's see. I need to level up my magic. So I have my magic ability, which like improves my damage dealing, my damage output, spell effectiveness, and then I have willpower, which like improves mana, stuff like that, spell saves. A psi capacity, fucking. <laughs> No earthbound shit, please. Okay. And golem. Dump can level. Oh, right, right. Fuck's sake. Sometimes that button works for golem. Not today. We'll improve that charge skill. I can also make my go golem shoot eye beams. <laughs> but I kind of just want my golem to... I kind of just want my golem to kick ass. I mean, eye beams would be pretty kick-ass. Oops. I'm still controlling my golem. Whee! Kill the wolf. <laughs> Kill it harder. I'm still kind of puny. Oop! To the next level! Uh... Right, what do we get? Ooh, I should... Hold on. Toss it over to dump. And Linen this over cloak? to dump. You got a cloak. You can wear that. Oh, I did. For more defense. What? Aw, you got a cloak now. Yeah, I like that this changes. Now, there is a retro style tile set for this game that looks like, you know, Super Nintendo y, RPG Maker y kind of graphics, but I cannot get it working. But, you can just make your own damn tile set. Like, you just put it all, put your graphics into a folder and it works. Or, conceivably, you could make this game look like Castle of the Winds if you really wanted to. <laughs> Castle of the Winds, where you get to wear clothes. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see, so I got a new hat. So if you hold control, you can compare... Uh, uh, you lose your cun. But you get 15% resistance to darkness and 10% resistance to da darkness damage. And I have this one. Loses cunning again, but you get plus 3 mind power and Ooh. plus 2% mental critical chance. Yeah, that I want that. Uh, ooh, I got an elven totem of stinging. What is... Uh, see, that does, hardens the skin. Oh, I want damage. I don't want to harden my skin. You want to murder things. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I need any, ooh, ooh. At Nature's Mossy Mind Star of Life. That's a weapon. I would, and I'm not trained in that. Hmm. Okay. Now. Um... So I did get rid of this, and I don't need it, so I'm just going to transmogrify it, and I get money. <laughs> you got .73 gold. Fucking round that shit! Oh, and I don't need these, and they're worth good money. I like money. Uh, that's, I'm the not, one. that's the one that I'm not using. So we can try to modify that and get some cash. 5.25, hot damn. Okay, and switch over to Golem. So what do we got here? Iron Battle Axe. 17 to 26 power. Or you could add the Acidic Iron Greatsword, which is 14 to 23. But has an Acidic effect. On a weapon crit, slash the target with acid, dealing 15 damage over 5 turns. And That's reducing 3 armor damage and a turn! And reducing armor and accuracy by 2. Uh, it is extra damage. 
And it reduces their armor and stuff. Yeah, but only, like, what, less than 10% of the time? Let's go with the... Let's go with the beefier battle axe. And we'll send these back over to Shpaguti for transmogrification. Do -do 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 -do. So we'll finish up this dungeon and then call the episode. Where are you going, Golem? Ooh, Ooh. Iron Great Sword of Massacre. That sounds very nice. I'll just, uh, why don't you, why don't you have that dump? Yes. Enjoy that. Shield. Death to snake. This is the forest of snakes. Who is that a rat? Yes. Wolf. Snake. <laughs> that <laughs> secret snake. That was the same snake. It had the mythical sliver of health. Belt. I had to kill some poison ivy. Belt. Warning, snake. Uh, rough. Oh, I read rough leather belt of pants. <laughs> <laughs> like as opposed to rough leather belt of the bicep. The rough leather belt of pants tells me that the belt is made of leather pants. <laughs> it's like, why wouldn't you just wear pants? <laughs> Wait, while I was rifling around my backpack, my golem was off doing shit. <laughs> I told you there was a snake. Where are you going? <laughs> he's he's been possessed by the sword. He must he knows only murder now. Hey, it's scroll. Oh, it's a letter. Dear Rolf, I hope this letter finds you well. I must apologize for this recent dry spell in our communication. More Roldars. My adventures across Magiar have taken many exciting and perilous <laughs> turns as of late. What turns do I speak of, you ask? I know how you delight in reading the accounts of my exploits, so I shall <laughs> waste no further time on this preamble. More rolled <laughs> Imagine if you will. <laughs> Hold on. It's like, it's like, did I you want to dictate a letter, to... sir? Oh, yes, my servant. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely. <laughs> cough, cough, choke, die. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, a wolf. <laughs> Imagine a beastly wolf, a wolf with strength, <laughs> ferocity, and a lust for flesh, matching that of an entire pack of its lesser. So every furry wolf flesh character. <laughs> flesh is a w that's up there with moist <laughs> flesh. In words that you don't use. A lust for flesh, matching that of an entire pack of its lesser kind. You too may have some small experience with these wargs, as the locals are wont <laughs> to call them. Wargs so sounds like a British, like, like a war. War! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, true story. When I was in college, in an English class, I used the word want, as it's spelled here. And, uh, my... English teacher knocked me down for misspelling want. And I'm like, you're a fucking English teacher. <laughs> want is a different word than want. I know that sounds dumb, <laughs> but it's it, like want as opposed to want. <laughs> Do you want? <laughs> <laughs> now imagine one the size of a bear. Truly, as I traveled the land surrounding dearth, did I come across such a monstrous, awe-inspiring, lupine adversary. With fangs of a length to match my own blade, I... 
So, a fucking saber tooth <laughs> beaver wolf. <laughs> I entered combat against this lupine lord and its skulking brood. This dude has like a thesaurus of terrible words. <laughs> Pretty sure this letter was written by Kenneth Height. <laughs> To my regret, I failed in slaying the beast, but I assure you, simply surviving against such feral rage is an honor worthy of recognition and renown. I got my R's back. <laughs> and indeed, would there have been much glory in killing such a creature? True. Excuses, excuses, excuses. I suck. Excuses. Anyway, with eager anticipation for your reply, Wiseman. <laughs> well, that's why he didn't kill it. He's a wise man. <laughs> he knows better. Ah! Norgos! <laughs> You're very big! What, what are you- get out of here. Uh, so what does this do? Sting an enemy dealing 122 nature damage. That sounds good. Over seven turns. So now it's being dealt- uh, hit it with explosion uh, before it gets too close. Actually, I don't think my bomb does as much damage yeah, 42.6 physical damage versus my staff's 110% of... 10 to 12? Oh, yeah, okay. Right now it does. The bomb is more dangerous. What the fuck? Kablam! Out. Uh... No, oh, get away from me! Get away from me! It's... No! Attack my guy! Not me! Attack my golem! Stop! Stop attacking me! I heal! Oh! Madness of the ages! Yeah! <laughs> I killed a bear. You killed Norgos! Uh, Ooh, and it dropped a s- Summertide File. And River's Fury. The gor this, this gorgeous and ornate trident was once- was wielded by Lady Nashva, and when you hold it you can faintly hear the roar of a rushing river. I got a rod of recall. Cool. Just fucking Dark Cloud 2 soundtrack here. Wait, what is this? It's tried. Tried. Okay. Requires. Ah, uh, you could have gotten exotic weapons mastery. Oh, that's true. If I maybe if I save another guy, he'll offer to give me exotic weapons mastery, and then I can give it to Spaghetti. Not Spooty, I'm Spooty. I can give it to Dump, because <laughs> it did ask me who I wanted to give the bu buff to. So I could give it to Dump, and then Dump can use River Shirt. I will mark this with a tag. Tag. Someday. So tagged items, like, don't get automatically anything, which is mm. nice, so you can't, like, sell... Like, it won't let you sell it because it's tagged. You have to, like, detag it or something. Now, what does this do? Oh! This replaces my lamp. And it's an item. And I got an acidic iron dagger that I don't need. And psychic's iron gauntlets of strength that I can't use. Okay. Well, let's, uh, finish clearing out this forest. Whee! Is Poison Ivy a sentient creature in this? Maybe. Bear! Death to bear! Death to things! So many slimes! Death to slime! Uh, Dump, if- thank you. If Dump doesn't see it, Dump won't attack it. I got Amatrine? We ah! That is a warg. It's dead. That was a big boy. Oh, I leveled up. Uh, more magic, more willpower. Max. Ooh. Oh, Jesus! I leveled up like twice. Uh. More golem resilience. Make golem strong. Uh, and I got one generic point, so we'll max out my staff. So I'm doing 120% staff damage. And then next I can start buffing my staff, which will make my staff itself 
which will make my staff itself do more damage. See, like, this makes my spell do more damage when my spell is based on my staff damage. This makes my staff do more damage, so my melee damage also goes up. But then this will go, because it's a like, hundred. Mm. Anyway. Yes. And golem. Uh, oh wait, no. Let's see. Level up. Uh, more strength! And you don't have any more points. Okay, switch back to me. I'm mana surging because every time the computer takes control of Shpaguti, she mana surges. We, ooh, snake, oh, snake. Get a torque. You can't hide from me. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> yes. Also, mage what? staff. Why are you so zoomed in, Ark? Because I can't fucking see, okay? I'm nearsighted, leave me alone. Uh, I didn't think you were zoomed in. Uh, the screen zoom, I think, is at 250%. Well, you know what? Yeah, 250%. It's like when I play Terraria, and it's like the default is... The game is built around the default zoom, where you're a tiny speck this big oh on the God. screen. And it's like, that's not fun. I don't see my character. I can't really tell what I'm doing. It's hard to be precise with your mining and block building, and there's no shortcut for zooms that I know of. Yeah, this game you actually have to restart the game when you change the zoom. Uh, but let's like, see. It's, again, it's built around that super zoomed out we'll switch thing. That. So when you fight against something Big, like a big boss that flies around. It flies around assuming your view <laughs> your viewpoint is that zoomed out. Ooh. Sonic shield, yes please. Okay, so we can transmogrify this. And I got... A new... Iron Torque of Psionic Shield. Wieldy weapon! So this gives me a shield. I will take that, please. Thank you. Alrighty. Onward! There's nowhere left to explore! Hell yeah! So, uh, let's fire off that, uh... Where's my... Oh, there it is. Way I go! To the world map! Alright! Well, uh, we made it through the first dungeon. That's an achievement in a game like this. So, uh... We'll call it here, and when we come back, we'll uh, check out this town over here and uh, explore the rest of the world map. Like this! Oh. <laughs> I I wanted so bad for it to go haywire and just fire <laughs> you off. <laughs> it would have been great. And you're like, I don't know where I am. What a way to an end an episode that would have been. I guess we'll just have to do with this. Goddamn game working. How dare it. I want funny broken shit. Yeah. What's Where's my ragdoll physics? What's with these games that work properly? Anyway, tune in next time. Boy. Say bye to the damn camera. No. <laughs> You're like, bye, bye chat, who's not Fuck there. <laughs> <laughs>